it is another shed sunday session sorry i wasn't about last week i have had the man flu a bit lurgy um not been feeling 100 percent. but on on the up now <laughs> weekend weekend's almost over back to work tomorrow um but yeah just thought i'd grab a couple of minutes in the shed <laughs> just waiting for the boys to go to bed um and uh I, yeah i just thought about um, we do a little bit of winter whittling. Uh, I was lucky yesterday to go along to the uh, Institute of Outdoor Learning uh, Bushcraft Professional Practice Group Conference. It's a bit of a long, uh, long name, but um, it's a great opportunity for like-minded uh, outdoor practitioners to get together, uh, do a bit of networking, but the whole thing is themed around workshops and so sharing best practice. I was really lucky to um, uh, to actually catch up with some people I've already met through uh, social media, uh, but also set some amazing workshops. Uh, the first one I did was with the uh, Paul and Dave from the Bush Scout team. Now, uh, Bush Scout is um, the bushcraft element behind uh, the sort of backs up the, the, the scouting movement. Um, they go around and ensure that all leaders um, are kind of working to the, the, the same standards and run these opportunities to sort of upskill and train. Um, Paul and Dave, both master craftsmen, uh, so did a little whittling session with them. I mean, nowhere near as good as what they were they were producing, but um, started working on this little sycamore key pendant. A little bit of work to do to, to reduce it, but um, yeah, I was quite surprised. Frustrated at times, but surprised at what we could, what we could produce. Uh, with a nice sharp knife so I just thought um, well yeah why not do a little whittling session okay uh, kind of nothing to that level but just something we can uh, knock together quickly and that's great things about whittles is you can just pick up a twig as long as you've got a sharp blades you can you can knock something together I mean we did uh, mushrooms a couple of weeks ago there's just something else to add to your repertoire and at the same time you're uh, working on skills that are really useful for other elements of bushcraft. Um, what we're going to look at today is um, our little wooden flowers. Uh, they've been known as gypsy roses uh, in the past. Um, I was first shown these by uh, Dave Watson from Woodland Survival School. Um, and he produced these very attractive um, little floral arrangements um, and the same technique you would uh, use to create feather sticks um, so we'll have a little look at what we do what do we need we need a straight stick i'm trying to pick one with as few side branches as possible um, and what else do we need a sharp knife um, and the idea behind it is shaving long curls without knocking them off. But when we'd feather stick, we'd kind of create them in one area. But we're gonna work in the round here. We're gonna go all the way around the stick. So let's just see what we can come up with. The thinner, the better. It's a nice shallow, so probably only just taking the the bark layer off here. Let's just sort of get that position in front of the camera. A couple of different techniques. Are you going to push with a knife or are you going to lock the knife and pull the bit of wood? Um, I can do a hybrid of the two. I would recommend if you're just starting out, um, lock the blade and move the wood. Much, much more controlled. And you're less likely to just skip and knock those hard earned curls off. Now, just for the for the camera, I'm just trying to make sure I get that in shot. I think I've actually got a a high speed version of this. So if you don't want to sit through the entire reel, if you look back uh, in some of my videos, I did a, a sped up version. And that's just the bark layer starting to curl up. Um, quite. Quite interestingly, if you do this with unseasoned wood, so green wood, the curls are nowhere near. Oh, happy Diwali. That's the uh, fireworks still going. Um, the curls are nowhere near as curly on green wood 
the drier the wood, the more impressive the curls become. So let's see where we're at. Yeah, working, working our way around there, trying to keep them in line. Uh, shortened up a little bit. Just let's keep that going. So I'm through the bark layer now. I'm down to uh, some of the, you know, so the cleaner wood. And with this, interestingly, if you go in a straight line, your curls will go in a straight line. If you angle your blade slightly as you're slicing through, they will curl either away or towards your blade. Let's see, I'll show you a couple of examples there. Um, let's see. So my drop my blade, so tip towards me. There we go. You can see how the curls are starting to move away from the blade. And the more I exaggerate that, yeah, the more it curls up. So in the opposite aspect, if I point away, they will curl towards the handle of the blade. Now that's particularly clear there and um, Joe Joe Price um, produced a feather sticking little PDF uh, you can get that online and he goes into great detail of how to shave a stick to produce really intricate fine little curls um, as with all fire prep the more time you put into it the more the more likely it's going to be it's going to work first time. So yeah, hope uh, hope you guys have all had a good weekend. Get up to any anything exciting? Yeah, pop it in the uh, pop it in the comments. Try and do a little bit more interaction rather than just me me chatting away. Yeah, these um, the finished project uh, product on these little flowers. Um, they, they look quite nice just in sort of the, the bare woods, but you can you can dye them, you can paint them, you can dip them, a couple of different colours. Um, very quickly you produce um, yeah, a nice, attractive little piece. And with, you know, with Christmas just around the corner, everyone loves something handcrafted, something, uh, you know, something homemade. I mean, at a stretch, you could probably do some sort of Christmas tree decoration with them. So as we get as we get towards the centre of the stick, I like to try and do even finer, thinner cuts, because it just produces these really tight little curls that sit really nicely in the middle of the flower. This is almost there. You'll get the point where the stick's that thin, they'll just snap off. So I've I've opted for a slightly different technique now. I'm holding the holding the um, the stick still, and actually the control is coming from pushing the back of the blade. So there's very little um, force. I'm at a stage where I've made loads of lovely curls. I don't want to just cut them all off. So little pushes just to finish off just not to be off there and as we're getting close to the middle i'm getting a little bit shorter as well almost in there half a dozen more than that all right i've just you can see i've just uh hit the pith section in there which means it's going to get really fragile now and it may just snap off a nice few skinny little curls to finish and that's probably us there we go and what we have those longer longer shavings on the bark to start with and gradually gradually getting shorter and shorter to produce lovely little um, gypsy rose so um, uh, hopefully that's a, a new one for your whittling repertoire. Um, give it a go. Guaranteed the first couple you're going to knock those shavings off. Um, 
but every time you do it you are practicing those feather stick skills um, and you can end up with something hopefully attractive um, and yeah uh, thanks for for joining us and I hope to see you next week with another little project uh, have a lovely week and chat to you soon folks cheers <laughs>